Hello and welcome to another 101 lab. In this lab, we'll be learning how to crack WPA handshake files using Aircrack NG. Aircrack NG is a set of utilities for analyzing Wi Fi networks for weaknesses. It can be used to monitor Wi Fi security, capture data packets, and export them to text files for additional analysis. This lab is a continuation of Lab 53, where we managed to capture the WPA handshake for our target network. In this lab, we will now attempt to crack this WPA handshake and obtain the clear text password for the network. To begin, first locate the file containing the captured WPA handshake. If you follow the steps in lab 53, this file will be located in the root directory and will be called desktop-01.cap. This is the file we will be cracking. We will be using the tool aircrack-ng for this lab. We can view the help screen for this tool by typing the following, aircrack-ng-help. So we can view that now quickly. Okay, and this gives us an idea of how to attack different forms of encryption or encoding and generally how this tool is used. We will not need any wireless interface card for the next steps as this process involves using your machine's resources in an attempt to crack the password encryption. We can attempt to crack the password using the following command. So let's break this command down before we run it. Dash A is the method Aircrack will use to crack the handshake. 2 means that the file is encrypted with WPA encryption. Dash B is the BSS ID of the target network. Dash W is the word list we will use to attempt to crack the handshake file. The following screenshot is what my full command looked like. So we have Aircrack NG dash A2 dash B, then the BSS ID of the target network, dash W, the word list we want to use, and then the file we want to use, or the file we want to crack. So we can copy this command, go back to our terminal. You can use either one and then paste it in and we're gonna fill in the missing gaps here and just make sure the syntax is correct also. So the network BSS ID that we want to use is the first one up here. So we can copy this and then paste it in. For simplicity's sake, I'm gonna use the rockyou.txt word list, although it may not be the best one to use for actual Wi-Fi passwords. And we have the file selected here. As you can see, there is the file in my root directory. So if we hit enter, okay, so if you receive this error when trying to use the rocky.txt file, it's simply because the rocky.txt file is packed with a tool called gunzip. So we can quickly unpack this file. If we copy this, type gunzip, control shift V, press enter, and gunzip will now unzip this file. So if we press or if we run locate rocky.txt again, we can see here rocky.txt is now unzipped and available for us. So we can cd back out of this directory and run the command that we just run there recently. Hit enter. Okay, we can see aircrack running, it's version 1.6. It's going to be running through the rocky.txt file, which has over 14 million passwords. We can see the password or the current passphrase being used against the file here. And we can see that there's one hour and 30 minutes remaining. Hit enter when you have this command typed out. Your screen will clear and you will be presented with the aircrack-ng screen as it attempts to crack the handshake file. I've used the rocky.txt file as my word list, so aircrack will now attempt over 14 million passwords against the captured handshake file. Depending on the resources available to your machine, and especially the strength of your word list, this attack may take a while to complete. So that's a rundown of aircrack-ng and how you would crack into or break the encryption for a Wi-Fi network. And that brings us to the end of this lab.